Hello, everyone. My name is Vince Reed, and if you're looking at the screen, it says the way that you think. The way that you think is really going to determine your success in this industry. So I decided to do this quick little video uh, because, you know, I do a lot of studying. I spend a lot of time studying the difference between the individuals who have a lot of success and the people that don't have so much success. So, you know, as you see here, it says success versus failure. And I want you to know that it really starts and it ends with the way that you think. Okay, the way that you think it's really going to determine your success in this industry okay so for example I just want to give you an example of how your thoughts can really affect uh, you know your end results you know a lot of people know people who maybe have tried to lose weight or people that are losing weight or try to lose weight yourself and it's no secret that the vitamin and nutrition industry is a huge industry okay a lot of people make a lot of money exploiting the fact that people you know are trying to lose weight but it's really a simple formula okay if you want to lose weight you simply have to basically burn more calories than um, what you take in you know eat less work out more it's a simple formula okay and there's people that essentially um, you know work out let's say for six months straight they work out hard they eat right and they see dramatic effects in their appearance okay now you know why is there, there are certain people that can't do that okay now you want to equate the same thing uh, to your home business okay because you have to realize that it's not going to be easy the same way it wasn't easy for people who do put in the time work out for six months straight and see drastic results you have to realize if you take this same approach into the home business industry the dramatic effects of that could mean hundreds of thousands of dollars to you okay because if you continue to study if you continue to work hard if you can continue to basically think and believe that you're gonna have success and basically seek out and find that knowledge okay that can like I said equate to hundreds of thousands of dollars to your business okay so it really comes down to the way that you think Okay, every moment of your life you're thinking something. Okay, you just want to make sure that your thoughts are always moving you towards your end goal. Okay, if you have doubt, if you're a person that says, Oh, I hope this is gonna work, or you know, is this easy, you're already pretty much setting yourself up. You're making excuses for yourself and essentially setting yourself up for failure. You want to basically control your thoughts. You want to believe that, hey, this is gonna work. I'm gonna basically study, I'm gonna learn these tools, I'm gonna learn these tactics, I'm gonna have success, you know, in my business. Okay, you have to have control over your mind and body. Okay, another example of this, let's say, for example, a guy named Jerry Rice. A lot of you guys have probably heard of him. He's a, you know, one of the you know, most famous football players to ever live. He played wide receiver uh, for the 49ers at the end of his career, played for a couple other teams. But, you know, everyone knows that he was never the fastest, the biggest guy, or the strongest guy. Okay, but he was the best. Okay, this was a guy who basically ran for more yards and touchdowns than any other wide receiver. Okay, and you see all these guys now, you have the NFL draft coming up, and they're running 40-yard dashes, and they're way stronger, way faster, way bigger than Jerry Weiss ever was. But these guys will never reach his numbers. They'll never probably, even most of them will probably never see their field. Why is that? Because Jerry Weiss did what the other guys don't do. Okay, he basically worked harder than anyone. If you know him or if you've heard about him, you'll know that his workouts, as far as his off-season workouts, he pretty much destroyed his body okay where he was prepared it's the same way for you looking at this video right now you're doing what is necessary where there's a lot of people that don't spend time because they don't basically study they don't learn they don't attend webinars okay they don't do what's necessary to take themselves to the next level as far as their business okay and that's why you have to have control over your mind and body okay Jerry Rice had control over his mind and body he looked at film he, you know you're watching videos okay you're gonna know how to basically apply you know put ads in certain places and how to basically market on the internet you're doing what's necessary but it starts with the way you think and how you control your mind and your body okay and uh, you know your mind is very very powerful okay I heard a story a while back from a guy named Tony Robbins okay this is a guy he basically talked about uh, there are these athletes of similar skill and the same age okay let's just say there was hundred and fifty of them I'm not sure exactly how many of there were, but we'll just say there was 150 of them. Okay, and he basically talked about how 50 of them basically went into the gym, shot free throws, and practiced for a month straight. The other 50 basically didn't practice. They didn't let them practice for 30 days straight. The other 50 basically went into a room, visualized themselves shooting perfect free throws and every free throw going in. Well, the end of the story is pretty simple. I mean, it's pretty simple who won. The guys who went into the room and visualized themselves shooting perfect free throws won easily. It wasn't even close. Why? Because these guys had control over their mind and their body. Okay, it starts with the way that you think. Okay, you know, if your, your kid came to you and said, hey, I don't understand that algebra homework, you're not going to tell them, hey, throw the book away, it's too hard. You're going to tell them to study it. You as an adult looking to build a home business, you have to basically approach this the same way it really comes down to the way that you think you'd be really surprised all the knowledge all the tools it's out there if you look 
if you look for it. Okay? You want to basically attack your weaknesses until they become strengths. Okay, control over mind and body. All right, remember, you are responsible for your success. You know, all that, you know, any leader can do is basically give you guidance, give you the tools, it'll give you the roadmap to have success, but it's going to ultimately come down to you. Okay, so really, my advice to you is really don't look for, you know, the company because it's really nothing to do with the company. It's going to be come down to what you can do. Okay, how you're going to market your business, you know, how you're going to continue to learn and you will have success. Okay, so that's why you see certain people that have you know, obviously success and others don't. Okay, because essentially, you know, it's the way they think. They don't have control over mind and body. Okay, and obviously they make a lot of excuses. Okay, when it ultimately it's going to come down to you. Okay, your business depends on it. Okay, depends on the way that you think. You have to have control over your thoughts. All right, so hopefully that explains and helps you out with a little mindset training. Okay, I really want you guys to get to the next level, and I look forward to teaching you. And I'll be around, and uh, we'll talk soon. All right. Vince Reed, take care and you have a great day.